While many languages have numerous dialects that differ in phonology, the contemporary spoken Arabic language is more properly described as a continuum of varieties. This article deals primarily with Modern Standard Arabic MSA, which is the standard variety shared by educated speakers throughout Arabic-speaking regions. MSA is used in writing in formal print media and orally in newscasts, speeches, and formal declarations of numerous types. Modern Standard Arabic has 28 consonant phonemes and 6 vowel phonemes, 8 vowels in most modern dialects. All phonemes contrast between emphatic, uvularized consonants and non-emphatic ones. Some of these phonemes have coalesced in the various modern dialects, while new phonemes have been introduced through borrowing or phonemic splits. A Phonemic quality of length applies to consonants as well as vowels. Topic: <inaudible> Vowels. Modern Standard Arabic has 6 vowel phonemes forming 3 pairs of corresponding short and long vowels: a, a, i, i, u, u. Many spoken varieties also include o and e. Modern Standard Arabic has two diphthongs formed by a combination of short a with the semivowels j and with in classical Arabic with no allophones. Allophony in different dialects of Arabic can occur, and is partially conditioned by neighboring consonants within the same word. As a general rule, for example, a and a are a a retracted to in the environment of a neighboring r, q, or an emphatic consonant one that is uvularized, though customarily transcribed as if pharyngealized, s, d, t, ev, and in a few regional standard pronunciations also, x, and only in Iraq and the Persian Gulf, before a word boundary, advance to a in the environment of most consonants, labial consonants per meter, b, and f, Plain non-emphatic coronal consonants with the exception of r, theta, n, t, d, s, z, l, and d, tilde tilde. Pharyngeal consonants h and glottal consonants h and j, k, and with. Across North Africa and West Asia, the allophones a and may be realized differently, either as a tilde, tilde, or both as a tilde. A. In northwestern Africa, the open front vowel a is raised to or e, i, i, u, u. Across North Africa and West Asia, i may be realized as tilde e tilde before or adjacent to emphatic consonants and q, r, h, u can also have different realizations, i.e., tilde o tilde. Sometimes with one value for each vowel in both short and long lengths or two different values for each short and long lengths. They are distinct phonemes in loan words. In Egypt, close vowels have different values, short initial or medial, e, o, instead of, i, u, i tilde, and, u tilde, completely become, e, and, o, respectively in some other particular dialects. Unstressed final long, a, i, u, are most often shortened or reduced, a, a tilde, i, i, u, o tilde u, however, the actual rules governing vowel retraction are a good deal more complex, and have relatively little in the way of an agreed-upon standard, as there are often competing notions of what constitutes a prestige form. Often, even highly proficient speakers will import the vowel retraction rules from their native dialects. Thus, for example, in the Arabic of someone from Cairo emphatic consonants will affect every vowel between word boundaries, whereas certain Saudi speakers exhibit emphasis only on the vowels adjacent to an emphatic consonant. Certain speakers, most notably Levantine speakers exhibit a degree of asymmetry in leftward versus rightward spread of vowel retraction. The final heavy syllable of a root is stressed, however, the pronunciation of loanwords is highly dependent on the speaker's native variety. The long mid-vowels, o, and, e, appear in to be phonemic in most varieties of Arabic, and they can be used in modern standard Arabic in some stable loanwords or foreign names, e.g. quakakla, ko, ka cola, coca-cola, shauklit o, ko, la ta, chocolate, dkate were duck to r, or, dok to r, doctor, joan d, o n, john, twem to m, tom, bliaka bel, d, i ka, belgium, skirter secre te r, or, secre te r, secretary, etc. Foreign words often have a liberal sprinkling of long vowels, as their word shapes do not conform to standardized prescriptive pronunciations written by letters for short vowels. When in need the letters Y or W are always used to render the long vowels, E, and, O.
Topic: Consonants. Even in the most formal of conventions, pronunciation depends upon a speaker's background. Nevertheless, the number and phonetic character of most of the 28 consonants has a broad degree of regularity among Arabic-speaking regions. Note that Arabic is particularly rich in uvular, pharyngeal, and pharyngealized emphatic sounds. The emphatic coronals, s, d, t, and, eth, cause assimilation of emphasis to adjacent non-emphatic coronal consonants. The phonemes p, p, and v, v, not used by all speakers, are not considered to be part of the phonemic inventory, as they exist only in foreign words, and they can be pronounced as b, b, and f, f, respectively, depending on the speaker. The standard pronunciation of j, d, varies regionally, most prominently d, in the Arabian Peninsula, parts of the Levant, Iraq, northern Algeria, and Sudan. It is also considered as the predominant pronunciation of literary Arabic outside the Arab world in most of northwest Africa and the Levant, and g only in Egypt. Long geminate or double consonants are pronounced exactly like short consonants, but last longer. In Arabic, they are called mashadada, strengthened, marked with a shada, but they are not actually pronounced any stronger. Between a long consonant and a pause, an epithetic occurs, but this is only common across regions in West Asia. Topic. Phonotactics Arabic syllable structure can be summarized as follows, in which parentheses enclose optional components C1 S1 V S2 C2 C3 Arabic syllable structure consists of an optional syllable onset, consisting of one or two consonants, an obligatory syllable nucleus, consisting of a vowel optionally preceded by and or followed by a semivowel, and an optional syllable coda, consisting of one or two consonants. The following restrictions apply Onset First consonant C1 can be any consonant, including a liquid, L, R. Onset is composed only of one consonant. Consonant clusters are only found in loanwords. Sometimes an epithetic, A, is inserted between consonants. Nucleus Semivowel S1 Vowel V Semivowel S2 Coda First consonant C2 can be any consonant. Second consonant C3 can also be any consonant. Topic: <inaudible> Word stress. The placement of word stress in Arabic varies considerably from one dialect to another and has been the focus of extensive research and debate. In determining stress, Arabic distinguishes three types of syllables: light an open syllable containing a short vowel i.e. cv, such as wa, and heavy an open syllable containing a long vowel i.e. cvv, such as saw, fara, he traveled a closed syllable containing a short vowel followed by one consonant i.e. cvc, such as min, from, or ka.tab, to, I wrote super heavy a closed syllable containing a long vowel followed by one consonant i.e. cvvc, such as babhash door or mad.dun stretching nom. A closed syllable containing a vowel of any length followed by two consonants i.e. cvcc, cvvcc, such as binthash girl or madhash stretching at word stress of classical Arabic has been the subject of debate. However, there is consensus as to the general rule, even though there are some exceptions. A simple rule of thumb is that word stress falls on the penultimate syllable of a word if that syllable is closed, and otherwise on the antepenultimate. A more precise description is J.C.E. Watson's. Here the stressed syllable follows the marker, and variant rules are in brackets. Stress a preposal super heavy CVVC, CVVGG, or CVCC syllable, ki ta b book, ma d d stretching MASCSG, ARIBT, I, U, MASCSG drank. Otherwise, stress the rightmost ending non final heavy CVV, CVC, or CVVG syllable up to the antepenult, da rasna we learnt, sa bu nun soap nom, maktaba library, ma di dun stretching nom, maktabatan library non pause or maktabatan. Otherwise, stress the leftmost beginning CV syllable or antepenult, kataba he wrote, katabatuhu library or katabatuhu. Modern Arabic dialects all maintain rules 1 and 2. 
but if there is neither a final super-heavy syllable nor a heavy penultimate syllable, their behavior varies. Thus in Palestinian, rule three is instead otherwise stress the first syllable up to the antepenult, katab he wrote, zalama man, whereas the basic rules of Kyrene to which there are exceptions are stress a super-heavy ultima. Otherwise, stress a heavy penult. Otherwise, stress the penult or antepenult, whichever is separated by an even number of syllables from the rightmost non-final heavy syllable, or, if there is no non-final heavy syllable, from the left boundary of the word. Topic. Local variations of modern standard Arabic Spoken varieties differ from classical Arabic and modern standard Arabic not only in grammar but also in pronunciation. Outside of the Arabian Peninsula, a major linguistic division is between sedentary varieties, largely urban varieties. Inside the Arabian Peninsula and in Iraq, the two types are less distinct, but the language of the urbanized hiyas, at least, strongly looks like a conservative sedentary variety. Some examples of variation Consonants In modern standard Arabic per gram, is used as a marginal phoneme to pronounce some dialectal and loan words. On the other hand it is considered a native phoneme or allophone in most modern Arabic dialects, mostly as a variant of q, q, as in Arabian Peninsula and Northwest African dialects or as a variant of d, j as in Egyptian and a number of Yemeni and Omani dialects. It is also considered a separate foreign phoneme that appears only in loanwords, as in most urban Levantine dialects where q is and j is d, tilde. The phoneme represented by the Arabic letter jim j has many standard pronunciations, d, in most of the Arabian Peninsula and is the predominant pronunciation of literary Arabic outside the Arab world, in most of Egypt and some regions in southern Yemen and southwestern Oman. This is also a characteristic of colloquial Egyptian and southern Yemeni dialects. In Morocco and western Algeria, it is pronounced as in some words, especially colloquially. In most North Africa and most of the Levant, the standard is pronounced and in certain regions of the Persian Gulf colloquially with J. In some Sudanese and Yemeni dialects, it may be either or, as it used to be in classical Arabic. P and V are not necessarily pronounced by all Arabic speakers, but are often pronounced in names and loanwords. Foreign sounds, P, V, are usually transcribed as B, B, and F, F, respectively. In some words, they are pronounced as in the original language, p, and, v, e.g. Pakistan or Pakistan, pa, kista n, ba, kista n, Pakistan, firos or viros, v, ru, s, vajru, s, virus, etc. Sometimes the Persian letter with three dots, p, p, and a modified v, v, letter are used for this purpose. As these letters are not present on standard keyboards, they are simply written with b, b, and f, f, e.g. both nuefember and nuumber, nu, famber, novembar, ber, or november, november. Both capris and cabris, ka, pri, s, ka, bri, s, caprice, can be used. The use of both sounds may be considered marginal and Arabs may pronounce the words interchangeably. Besides, many loanwords have become Arabized. T is another possible loanword phoneme, as in the word esenedoch sandwich, sandwich, though a number of varieties instead break up the t and sounds with an epithetic vowel. Egyptian Arabic treats t as two consonants t and inserts e as tek or set when it occurs before or after another consonant. T is found as normal in Iraqi Arabic and Gulf Arabic. Normally the combination tish ta shin is used to transliterate the t. Otherwise Arabic usually substitutes other letters in the transliteration of names and loanwords like the Persian character ch which is used for writing t. Other variations include split of original r into two phonemes, distinguished primarily by how they affect neighboring vowels. This has progressed the farthest in North Africa. See Moroccan Arabic, Algerian Arabic, Tunisian Arabic and Libyan Arabic. Loss of the glottal stop in places where it is historically attested, as in, sama, sama. Vowels development of highly distinctive allophones of a, and a, with highly fronted a, a, or in non-emphatic contexts, and retracted in emphatic contexts. The more extreme distinctions are characteristic of sedentary varieties, while Bedouin and conservative Arabian Peninsula varieties have much closer allophones. 
In some of the sedentary varieties, the allophones are gradually splitting into new phonemes under the influence of loanwords, where the allophone closest in sound to the source language vowel often appears regardless of the presence or absence of nearby emphatic consonants. Spread of emphasis visible in the backing of phonemic a uh, in conservative varieties of the arabic peninsula only a uh, adjacent to emphatic consonants is affected while in cairo an emphatic consonant anywhere in a word tends to trigger emphatic allophones throughout the entire word dialects of the levant are somewhere in between moroccan arabic is unusual in that i and u have clear emphatic allophones as well typically lowered eg to e and o Monophthongization of diphthongs such as aj and a to e and o, respectively, i and u, in parts of the Maghreb, such as in Moroccan Arabic. Mid vowels may also be present in loanwords such as mlbirn, milbo rn, melbourne, skirter, sikrite r, male, secretary, and dkatewer, dukto r, doctor. Raising of word final, a to e. In some parts of Levant, also word medial, a to e. See Lebanese Arabic. Loss of final short vowels with i sometimes remaining, and shortening of final long vowels. This triggered the loss of most classical Arabic case and mood distinctions. Collapse and deletion of short vowels. In many varieties, such as North Mesopotamian, many Levantine dialects, many Bedouin dialects of the Maghreb, and Mauritanian, short, i, and, u, have collapsed to schwa and exhibit very little distinction so that such dialects have two short vowels, a, and, Many Levantine dialects show partial collapse of i and u, which appear as such only in the next to last phoneme of a word, i.e., followed by a single word final consonant, and merge to elsewhere. A number of dialects that still allow three short vowels, a, i, u, in all positions, such as Egyptian Arabic, nevertheless show little functional contrast between i and u, as a result of past sound changes converting one sound into the other. Arabic varieties everywhere have a tendency to delete short vowels especially other than a uh, in many phonological contexts. When combined with the operation of inflectional morphology, disallowed consonant clusters often result, which are broken up by epithetic short vowels, automatically inserted by phonological rules. In these respects, as in many others, Moroccan Arabic has the most extreme changes, with all three short vowels, a, i, u, collapsing to a schwa, which is then deleted in nearly all contexts. This variety, in fact, has essentially lost the quantitative distinction between short and long vowels in favor of a new qualitative distinction between unstable, reduced, vowels, especially, and stable, half-long, full, vowels, a, i, u, the reflexes of original long vowels. Classical Arabic words borrowed into Moroccan Arabic are pronounced entirely with full vowels regardless of the length of the original vowel. Topic. Phonologies of different Arabic dialects The main dialectal variations in Arabic consonants revolve around the six consonants, J, Q, T, H, D, H, D and Z. Topic. Kyrene The Arabic of Cairo, often called Egyptian Arabic, or more correctly, Kyrene Arabic is a typical sedentary variety and a de facto standard variety among certain segments of the Arabic speaking population, due to the dominance of Egyptian media. Watson adds emphatic labials M and B and emphatic R to Kyrene Arabic with marginal phonemic status. Kyrene has also merged the interdental consonants with the dental plosives, e.g., theta ala, theta a, t ash l ash te, three, except in loanwords from classical Arabic where they are nativized as sibilant fricatives, e.g., theta a nawiya, sain ash weja, secondary school. Kyrene speakers pronounce d as and debuccalized q to. Again, loanwords from classical Arabic have reintroduced the earlier sound or approximated to k with the front vowel around it a change to the back vowel. Classical Arabic diphthongs, aj, and, a, became realized as e and o, respectively. Still, Egyptian Arabic sometimes has minimal pairs like li carrying f, s, versus e lay burden, e b pocket plus ne r collapsing with ebne which means cheese or r pocket, because Kyrene phonology can't have long vowels before two consonants. Kyrene also has as a marginal phoneme from loanwords from languages other than classical Arabic.
Topic: Sanaa. Varieties such as that of Sanaa, Yemen, are more conservative and retain most phonemic contrasts of classical Arabic. Sanani possesses as a reflex of classical q, which still functions as an emphatic consonant. In unstressed syllables, Sanani short vowels may be reduced to t is voiced to d in initial and intervocalic positions. Topic: <inaudible> Morocco. Of all the mainstream varieties of Arabic, Moroccan Arabic is likely the one that has diverged the most from Classical Arabic, similarly to the position of French in the Romance languages and English among the Germanic languages. As described above, Moroccan has heavily innovated in its vowel phonology, under heavy Berber influence. Short vowels, a, uh, and, i, merged into More recently, most instances of short, u, have also merged into the few that remain are mostly in the vicinity of velars and uvulars, which suggests an alternative analysis with phonemically rounded consonants e.g. labiovelars and only one short vowel. This schwa, in turn, is phonemically deleted in all contexts except directly followed by a single word final consonant or in some three consonant words of the shape ccc. This inevitably results in some very long, complex consonant clusters, which, unlike most other Arabic varieties, Moroccan Arabic is remarkably tolerant of, only tending to insert epithetic schwas to break up the clusters at a slow rate of speech. Unlike in other varieties, doubled consonants are never reduced, but are pronounced clearly whether occurring at the beginning of a word, end of a word, between vowels or before or after a consonant. With the collapse of short vowels, speakers no longer perceive a long versus short distinction in vowels, which has been replaced with a full versus reduced, unstable distinction. Full vowels actually pronounced half long substitute for both the long and short vowels of classical Arabic in borrowings. As a result, these borrowings can be immediately identified by their phonology. A number of other unique or unusual developments have taken place. Stress is, for the most part, not detectable at all, to the extent stressed syllables can be identified, there is often no consistent pattern governing which syllable is stressed. Original, q, has split into two phonemes, q, and, reflecting the origin of Moroccan Arabic as a mixture of a sedentary and Bedouin dialect. Original diphthongs, a, j, a, have merged into full vowels, i, u, rather than generating new vowel qualities, but, long diphthongs. A, J, A, also exist, best analyzed as a combination of full vowel, A, uh, and semivowel. Unlike most other varieties, emphasis not only triggers front, back allophones in, A, uh, but also high, low allophones in, I, and, U, and, varies between non-emphatic, emphatic, and pharyngeal environment. On the other hand, emphasis spreads only as far as the first full vowel in either direction, unlike in most sedentary varieties where emphasis can spread much more widely, sometimes throughout the entire word. For the purposes of emphasis, R splits completely into non-emphatic R and emphatic R, distinguishable mostly by their effects on adjacent vowels, with very few exceptions. The choice of one or another is consistent across all words derived from a given root. Most emphatic, non-emphatic pairs behave similarly, but T is affricated T, while T is non-affricated T, so it is always possible to distinguish the two without recourse to their effects on surrounding vowels. Distribution The most frequent consonant phoneme is r, the rarest is ev. The frequency distribution of the 28 consonant phonemes, based on the 2967 triliteral roots listed by Weir is with the percentage of roots in which each phoneme occurs. This distribution does not necessarily reflect the actual frequency of occurrence of the phonemes in speech, since pronouns, prepositions and suffixes are not taken into account, and the roots themselves will occur with varying frequency. In particular, t, occurs in several extremely common affixes, occurring in the marker for second person or feminine third person as a prefix, the marker for first person or feminine third person as a suffix, and as the second element of forms 8 and x as an infix despite being fifth from last on Weir's list. The list does give, however, an idea of which phonemes are more marginal than others. Note that the five least frequent letters are among the six letters added to those inherited from the Phoenician alphabet, namely, dad, doll and gain. Sample 
The literary Arabic sample text is a reading of the North Wind and the Sun by a speaker who was born in Safed, lived and was educated in Beirut from age 8 to 15, subsequently studied and taught in Damascus, studied phonetics in Scotland and since then has resided in Scotland and Kuwait. Normal orthographic version Kant Rai Alshmal Walshams Chadlan I Emma Akwi Wad BMS Afer Whitey El Mountalfa Bibat Smite Fatfekta Lee At Bar Al Sabaku Fiaj Bar Alm Safer Lee Kachel Bath Alakwi Esft Rai Alshmal Baxi Ma Astad Mn Cute Wilkin Kaelma Asdad Alsef Asdad Alm Safer Tidithra Bibath Ali and Asked Fi Eid Al Rai FTK Chelt N Malda Badid Saint Alshams Bidifaha FMA Khan Mn Alm Safer Allah and Kachel Bath Lee Alt Wakda Atrit Rai Alshmal Ali Alitraf Ban Alshams Kant Hai Alakwi. Diacriticized orthographic version Kanit Rihu Alshamali Walshamsa Tatahadalan Ayui Minhuma Akwe Wei Bai Musafiri Yatlu Mutalafia Biabati Samakati. Fitafakata alay atibari al sabiki fi ijbari al musafiri alay kali abadihi alakwi asafit rihu al shamali bixe ma astatat min quata wakan kalama asdata alasfu asdata al musafiru tadithira biabatihi ilay an askita fi yadi alri fatikalat and muhawaladia. Badaidi satati al shamsa bidafaya fama kanamina al musafiri ala an kala abatahu alay al tawi wakata atarat rihu al shamali ilay alaytarafi biana al shamsa kanat hiya alakwe. Phonemic transcription with Irab Ka nat raihau ama li tatad, a dalu wa amsafij aj in minhuma ka nat aqua min alexura, wa i bai musa furin jot lu mutalaf ian bai aba aitan samika, fat a fakata ala tiba ri s a biki fij id, ba ri lmusa firi ala zali aba atihi laqua, as a fat raihau ama li bai axa ma stat a at min quw a, wa la kin kul ama zda da las f isda da lmusa firu tata theta urin biaba ati, ila an yuski a fij jd rij fa taxal at an muha waladia, badain sat ati amsu bidafia, fa ma ka na mina lmusa a firi illa an zala aba atahu ala ti a, wa ha ka adi ti urat raihau ama li ila lidira fi biano amsa ka nat iha lakwa. Phonemic transcription without Irab Ka nat ri a ama el tatada dal wa am si fi ajin minhuma ka nat aqua min al aksura, wa i bai musa fur jat la mutalafian bai aba a sami ka, fat tafakata ala tiba r as sa biq fi idbar al musa fur ala zali aba a ti al aqua, as a fat ri a ama el bai axa ma stata at min qwwa, wa la kin kalama zdad al as f is the d al musa fur tada the urine by abba ati ila an yuski fi jad r re fa taxalot an muha waladia badain sat at a m c by diffia fa ma ka and min al musa fur ila an zala abba ada ala t t a w w wa ha ka d t a rat re a ama l ila lidira f by an a m c ka nat e ha laqua Topic. Phonetic transcription Egypt. K ash nat i a ash m ash l tat ash ash dale y ash m dot s e phi a a dot jin men home k ash nat q m n a l x y by m s ash fe jate l m t ash leaf fe by ash b ash ash s ash me k fat take t ash i lie.
Te bss beq phi eb ale ms ash fe ili zele abe ash at i hi l q s foot i a ash m ash l by q's may street ash t t m n q o w w y l ash cane k l lime i z d ash d ale s f z d ash d ale m s ash fe tod ash theta theta a n by abe ash e t ili a n o s k a phi yod ash i phi t ash zal lat a n m ash w ash lat i hey Bade ash een saint ta ash m dot s e by d f i hi, phi m ash k ash n m n ale m s ash fe ill, lay a n zilai abe ash ata ilai at tau, y h ash chi i t t o, t i a ash m ash l ili leet f by n a ash m dot s e k ash nat h. J l q. Ala l c transliteration Kanat re al shamal tatahadalu wa al shams fi ayan minhuma kanat aqua min al ukra, wa idh bi musafir yatla u mutalafi bi ab a samika. Fa itafakata ala i tabar al sabik fi ijbar al musafir ala kal ab atihi al aqua, asafit re al shamal bi aqsa ma ista at min kawa. Wa lakin kalama isdada al asf isdada al musafir tadathiran by ab atih, ila and yuski fi yad al re fa takalat and muhawalatia. Ba da idan seda at al shams by dif iha, fa ma kana min al musafir illa and kala a ab atahu ala al tau. Wa hikata iditorat re al shamal ila al itaraf by and al shams kanat haya al aqua. Topic: English Wiktionary transliteration based on Hans Weir. Kanat rihu s Somali tatahadalu wa s samsa fi i and minhuma kanat aqua mina el ukra wa id by musafirin yatlu u mutalafi and by ab atin samikadan fat tafakata ala tabari s sabiki fi ijbari el musafiri ala kal i ab atihi el aqua asafit rihu s Somali by aksama sta at min kuadan walakan kalama zadada el asf zadada el musafiru tatataran by I Abba Tihi, Ila and Uskita Fai Yadi R Rihi Fatakalat and Muhawaladia. Ba da Idan Seda Atis Samsu by Dif Iha, Fama Kana Mina El Musafiri Illa and Kala Abba Tahu Ala Ti Tawi. Wa Hakata Ditorat Rihu S Somali Ila L I Tarafi by Anna S Samsa Kanat Haya Laqw. <laughs> <laughs> 